Hello, everyone, and welcome to Speaking of Love, the podcast. I am your host, LaToya, and I am so happy to be here today. My favorite day of the week is Saturday, and I am here with Dominique Nash. Dominique is here. She is a beautiful young lady who has agreed to be here today to let me interview her. She's a social media influencer, a food (laughs) blogger. She is the mother of, I think, six beautiful children. She (laughs) give you two more. Four beautiful beautiful children. She uh, is a mother, a wife, just a beautiful person, and she's making positive, positive motions throughout the universe. And I'm just so happy to have her here. So, Dominique Nash, thank you for being here. How are you today, beautiful? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. Thank you, beautiful. Thank you for having me. I am just so excited. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for being here. So you are in Missouri right now, right? Yeah, we we live in St. Louis, Missouri. That's correct. Okay. And were you always a native of St. Louis, Missouri? Yes, ma'am. Born here, raised here. Yes, (laughs) ma'am. You know, I first became acquainted with you. I saw you on YouTube and you have a beautiful family and you have been blessed with the anointed hands of a a beautiful cook and your meals that you prepare all the way from appetizers on down to desserts. They look absolutely delicious and amazing. And you share your gifts with uh, with with your audience, and that's a beautiful thing. Talk to me about your experience as a food blogger and how that all started for you. Oh, no problem. Thank you for all the beautiful compliments, by the way. Because uh, when I'm cooking, you know, it just that's just it's just my food, and I, I don't see it that way. So I'm always looking and critiquing myself to push myself to go a little bit further, you know, to make people in interested in my food. Uh, Welcome to the Nash House was really created during the lockdown uh, of the pandemic. I felt kind of closed off. I'm sorry. And I I just had our fourth child and I needed an outlet, you know, so I decided to go ahead and open up myself to the world of digital creating. Uh, Once that happened, I wasn't fully comfortable at first. So I just started taking pictures of my food and I would put it in these Facebook groups and people would ask for the recipe and I would explain it in text form, but they wanted an an example. And so I started recording the process. That's exactly how Welcome to the Nash House was created. The food blogging was created. It was completely uh, see a need, fill a need. And I wanted to Uh, be able to still have a connection to people, even though we couldn't be around people. And online creating, just digital creating became a thing. I didn't even know that was the name of it at the time, just to be Mm -hmm. honest. Um, And I I really had uh, a a new view of the world. I'm like, okay, well, we can do everything virtual. The kids were doing virtual schooling. I was able to have friends virtually and it just grew. I'm just happy to be a part of the virtual world. (laughs) Yes, you have a very large audience, a very large following of people. And how how has that impacted your life? I know you and I, we spoke the the other night on the phone. And I know that you get more phone calls than you're used to having now that you've become this social media influencer and vlogger. How has that affected you in your life positively? Uh, What I just like to be able to see how I've inspired someone, you know, it's, I, I didn't look at it in that aspect. I'm just, I feel like I'm just a little small uh, person here sharing things. You know, I didn't really feel like I I had this big platform until I realized I'm I'm getting phone calls from people and they're like, so what are you doing? You're not doing hair anymore. I see you everywhere. I'm like, what do you mean? You see me everywhere online. I'm like, Oh, Oh, Okay, I have a little platform here, so let me use it for good. Okay, let me use it for good. And it just really dived into it. And just to be honest, uh, Facebook was the first person, well, the first company to really show me the change that I was making. They offered me to become a digital creator for them. And I'm like, you can get paid 
to do this? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So right now, even though I'm doing Welcome to the Nash House, I'm using the platform of Facebook because that's who hired me to be a digital creator. Um, I also have a huge following on TikTok, uh, Instagram. I mean, we're everywhere. We just want to be everywhere. I like to be able to inspire people. You can take like a very normal down home cooking meal and make it delicious just by adding a couple of things that taking away something and cooking at home is way more healthier for you than actually dining out all the time. So if we can try to find a way to make our food look just as good as they do at the restaurants, we're going to eat at home or we're going to have some fun. You hear me? Bring the fun to home. <laughs> and plus I have four children. So that's a lot of people to pay for food for, you know, that's, we're a family of six. So if we go out, I'm spending like $110, you know, mm -hmm. versus I could have just bought $110 worth of groceries that's going to last me for like two, maybe two weeks in this house. I'm be honest. Mm -hmm. OK, but I can make more meals. You understand what I mean? I, I wanted to inspire and empower a lot of stay at home moms. I use that hashtag, by the way, a lot. Sham. S. A H M stay at home moms. We have a power that no one ever really wants to recognize. You know, we have the power to, to nurture, uh, I mean, uh, nurture. We have the power to be whatever we really want to be. And this platform of digital creating that I introduced the world to on my end, I'm still trying to grow, you know, but uh, I want it, I want all stay at home moms to know that they have this option to share beautiful things through the world of virtual. And, you know, it's, there's a study that shows that children who are raised by stay-at-home moms, they grow up to be more rounded emotionally because a lot of times parents have to work and they put their children in an um, institutionalized setting all day, a.k.a. daycare center, and those yeah. children are unloved all day. So to have the ability to be home with mom mom is preparing meals for us she's patient because she's not stressed out from working a job all day so it's really a beautiful Girl, you're gift about to make me cry <laughs> yes it's a beautiful gift that you're giving your children and you know i know everyone can't do that but it's one of the most one of the greatest gifts you can give your children and that's the definition of a mom is to sacrifice your life for the benefit of your children so when people are watching you dominique welcome to the nash house what is the mission and the purpose behind what you do? I know you love well, to cook and you have a passion yeah. for cooking, but what, what do you want people to get from watching you? Not so much learning about how to prepare a meal, but on a deeper level, what, what are you really doing? I, I'm really just showing how to express yourself and be yourself and love yourself. You know, we all have so many things that we can be insecure about, you know, uh, me personally too. But if I can sh be vulnerable on camera and it's seeing, it, this is going to be seen around the world, you know, YouTube is forever. It's my way of leaving my imprint on the world to show somebody that you are good enough. If I'm good enough, you're good enough. Mm -hmm. If you feel like you're failing at something, sometimes I show what I fail at on, on camera because you have, I have to give you me, otherwise you're not going to be interested. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody is going to fail once or twice, but you never learn from all the success. You learn more from your failures. If I can be vulnerable and display my personality, so can you. I'm quirky. Sometimes I'm serious. Sometimes I can be sexy. My new post on Instagram, I got my, my little black sexy dress on, but I wanted to do it tasteful. And I did. I was so happy about that. But that's what I wanted to, to really come through on the screen is that you can be yourself. You are enough. Love yourself. I love myself. I, it's still a journey. I have struggled in the past mm -hmm. with postpartum depression and anxiety. And a lot of the times, you know, it was my own voice in my head that was turning me down and it would pull me into a dark corner where I wouldn't communicate with people. And I fought it off using YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. You know, the more that I am able to express myself and be a present a presence person online, the more I'm fighting and battling depression and anxiety. 
Yes. Yeah. And it's more, it's more therapeutic for you, right? Yes. Yes. It's, it's very much yeah. therapy. Now I do art. That's my therapy too. But my hand, like I said, my hands, I'm a retired hairstylist. So my hands are not what they used to be. Uh, really, I've been able to give all that I really can to being online and using a digital platform that has become my therapy. Yeah. And, you know, it's so important that you that you mentioned therapy because, of course, you know, this podcast was created in honor of my father. He murdered his wife and then moments later he turned the gun and he took his own life. So losing my father the way that I did, of course, it was extremely devastating, extremely devastating for my family, for his wife's family. And we're all struggling and we're all trying to find our way to navigate through this pain. So I created this podcast in honor of him. And I tell you, it's therapy. Like you just said, this is my therapy right here. I don't meet with a professional psychologist uh, every week to talk about this. Right. This is my, this is the, the pill that I need to take every six to eight hours is right here in this podcast where I get to interview beautiful people like you who have dedicated their lives to serving others. You could have taken your life, Dominique, and done so many other things with it, but you're living a life of service. And I admire people like oh. you who dedicate oh, their lives. You. Yes, enhancing the lives of others. That's a beautiful thing. What do you, you love? What do you love most about Welcome to the Nash House? Really, I love that my life is going to be documented. Something is going to be left here as an imprint of who Dominique is. You know, a lot of people that I've met throughout my lifetime, I haven't had the opportunity to reconnect with them later on so they can see how much I've changed or developed or grew or whatever you want to call it. And this way, I have a platform, a library of the different stages of Dominique's life. You know, that <laughs> that's the most beautiful thing for me. And I do want to say to you, because you did mention it, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear about, you know, what happened to your mom and your dad. Um, I feel like a lot of times in our community, and I mean the Black community, we don't really take it serious how important mental health is. And being able to find something that helps with you being able to cope with like trauma, you know, our, mm -hmm. our lives, we always are battling trauma and it's not always our trauma. Sometimes it's our parents' trauma. Sometimes it's our grandparents' trauma. And it that not being able to break down that trauma by having an outlet like digital platforms, um, you begin to continue the cycle of the generational curse. You mm -hmm. can't break down uh, the curses that have held your family down if you don't find a way to deal with some deep rooted issues. So I salute you for using this platform. Also, my sister, you know, you keep going, doing what you're doing. You have inspired me. So I'm going to push it and, and inspire others with your platform too. This is going to go everywhere that I am. So I'm going to share it. I want people to see that that it's okay to be vulnerable and tell these these traumatic stories of your past yeah. and still move forward. We always yeah. need to move forward. So congratulations to you also, my sister. Well, because thank you. Too. Thank you. You know, suicide is a topic that's it's kind of taboo and a lot of people don't want to discuss it. They think yeah. that it's, you know, there's a terrible thing, which it is a terrible thing, but it's not a terrible mm -hmm. thing to talk about or discuss. And I okay. had a family member say to me recently, oh, you're going to talk about suicide. Oh, that, oh, that's depressing. Well, you know what? We need to bring it to the forefront because mm -hmm. I wish that there had been a podcast like this that my dad could have watched before this tragedy happened. Maybe it would have made a difference. So, you know, I'm definitely here for a purpose and uh, people like you help me bring my purpose to life. So thank you. All right. You're welcome. You keep going, my sister. I'm so excited. I'm glad that you turned <laughs> that situation into something that can be a beautiful, big thing to connect people. You know, maybe somebody watching this podcast right now might be thinking that they can't make it another day, you know, just to know that you can, mm -hmm. you can, it, even if your parents yeah. are gone, you and can you look at her. Around you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to, yeah. you have to build yeah, those definitely. good connections with good people. That's, that's all that it is. It's, it's good people. <laughs> yes. 
So we're coming off the brinks of the COVID-19 pandemic, Mm -hmm. and it's been a a devastating time for a lot of people, Dominique. Um, As you know, so many people lost their lives, and people who have survived COVID are living with the physical effects of having it. You know, some people, I have a friend of mine who's struggling with uh, kidney failure now as a Mm. result of her uh, having COVID. So what is the biggest lesson that you learned about your yourself during this unexpected pandemic? Well, the biggest lesson that I can say that I learned is that I really need to take better care of myself. Um, I put, I used to, and I'm still working on it. I used to put everybody before me. I used to put my, me being a daughter, me being a mom, me being a wife, me being a sister, me being a cousin, me being a retired stylist, me, just everybody else in front of me. And I would feel the pressure and I would still try to carry and add more and more and more on. And one day I just kind of fell, I collapsed, couldn't take no more. And when the pandemic happened, it forced me to look at myself and what I was doing to myself. I, I can't blame anybody because I kept taking on more, more and more responsibilities without taking care of myself. With the pandemic happening, you don't know, you didn't know, we didn't know if we were going to live another day, if we go outside and breathe, you know, if, if I have a family member visit, is that going to be the day that I, we catch COVID? You know, I didn't know anything. So I decided get myself together, get my mental health together. I reached out to a virtual um, uh, counselor and had a vir- two virtual sessions and realized that I needed to focus on my hopes and dreams. I didn't have to sacrifice those because I'm a mom. I don't have to sacrifice that being a wife. I still can do this. I had bigger dreams to fulfill. Why not right now? Because when COVID hit, we learned that the unexpected can take you out, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people passed away. Let's do something that you really want to do in life. And that's where Welcome to the Nash House was born. Mm, I love it. I love it. Welcome to the Nash House. And if anyone is watching right now and you're not familiar with Dominique's platform, I have it posted right here. It's Welcome the number two, the Nash house. Welcome (laughs) to the Nash house. And please subscribe to her channel. Check her out. She's available on all platforms. That's YouTube. She's available on Instagram, Facebook. Welcome to the Nash house. So we got to talk about the people in the Nash house. Dominique, (laughs) tell tell me about your husband and your children. What are their names? What are they like? Oh, no problem. So my husband's name is Graylin Nash. My husband is my photographer. So any any type of photo shoot that you see that I post, because sometimes I'll do a behind the scenes video on our, on our YouTube channel. Uh, my husband is the photographer. Uh, we love working collectively together as creative minds to come up with different type of content because you know, sometimes I might not feel like cooking, but we might go over in East St. Louis. Um, and get some pictures of the arch, but I can document our time there, you know, so that's really the direction that we're taking it. Um, Graylin is the lead on the photography side. Then I have my oldest daughter is her name is Dakota. That's my only daughter, by the way, my first baby. She made me a mommy. Um, she is 11. Uh, then we have our son Dion. He is eight and he is almost taller than me. (laughs) Wow. At eight years old. (laughs) Yes. At eight years old. And my baby, he is so smart. Um, Both of them have straight A's, which I was really happy to hear because they were going on spring break and we had to do parent teacher conferences and they are doing great. I'm so proud of them. Uh, Then my next uh, child is my son, Diedrich. He is four. He attends school and he's, this is his first year in preschool and they're going to move him up to kindergarten. So I was real proud of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, during the <laughs> pandemic, uh, Diedrich was supposed to start preschool, but being that his birthday was like four or three days after the cutoff day, he couldn't. So I spent 
while I was taking pictures and doing food videos, I spent most of my free time with him and our younger son, Draxton, teaching them their ABCs, one, two, threes, all in their room. I had uh, I cut out like numbers and put them all over the wall. So we had classroom in his room every day. And um, I was really excited to hear that he was moving up to kindergarten because I really worked hard with that. Okay. Mama was in there. I was, hey, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And uh, YouTube, we use YouTube a lot on the TV. Uh, if you have a, a Roku, a smart TV, you can use, you can put the app YouTube on there and you can watch all of the have fun while learning ABCs, one, two, three, Sesame Street right there. And it's on their TV. So they don't think that they're learning. You know, it was really fun. I had to make it fun. Mm -hmm. um, and our youngest one, he is two. His name is Draxon. He just uh, actually turned two on the third of this month. And we celebrated that and documented that. So that's on my YouTube channel also. Mm -hmm. But uh, he was the surprise. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know we had no idea we were, he was coming so i'm happy that he's here um all of the oh i can't forget about my dog because he's the big part of the youtube channel too his name is tommy <laughs> that's my fur baby uh, um a lot of the times um he's around here barking in the, in the background on the video i'm like shut up I'm trying to record, <laughs> you know, so you know, it's it's kind of funny. Like we talked about it before recording ourselves because we have a lot of fun. But it when it came to it came to pass, you know, we were like, oh, my God, we need a cameraman around here because sometimes <laughs> it just happens so sporadically. You're like, oh, we, we should have recorded that, you know, but we do what we can. That's the Nash house. Ah, uh, I want to show a little clip from YouTube. So I'm going to share my screen with our audience here um just a moment let me okay. do this yes one second okay I haven't seen that one in a while. My husband actually made that first trailer for our YouTube channel um, because I didn't know how to work the editing equipment yet. So Aww. I was like, he, when he, he sent it to me, I was like, I cried. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sensitive. I'm such a big crybaby, but I cried because it was so beautiful. It really embodied you know, my vision for Welcome to the Nash House. Thank you for playing it. Oh, my so God. What is, the, what is the significance behind that song? He found it. I'm a, I would okay. have to ask him, but it really embodied um, our family. You know, didn't you mm -hmm. feel welcome when you watched that? You yes, know? I felt motivated and <laughs> it's very uplifting and inspiring. Yes, <laughs> it is. Yes, ma'am. He found that yeah. song. Like a lot of the times, like uh, most of our videos now, I do a lot of the editing on my own, which I'm really proud of. Okay. Yeah. Because I had to yes. learn how to do that. Sister had to yeah. learn. Okay. Because he, you know, he has his own adventure with photography. Um, so I try I try to not crowd my vision with his. You you understand what I mean? As a wife, you know, I know that I'm important, but I want him to be just as important too. Okay. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Uh well yes. when it came to Definitely. what did you ask me because I just went all over the place uh again what did you ask me I'm sorry no I was just asking you about the significance of the song that you picked and you said that he was the one that picked the song yeah he 
picked that song. I love that song. Oh my goodness, I did. It's beautiful. It is. It so, is. You know, Dominique, I look at you. You are such an inspiration. You're beautiful, and I admire your courage, like to be on a social media platform such as Welcome to the Nash House. It takes a lot of courage to do that. Is there someone in your life, uh, either past or present, who has inspired you to be the successful woman that you are today? Yeah, if I'm gonna be honest with you, um, my grandmother on my father's side, she taught me how to cook. And she taught me when I was 11, about to turn 12. And she passed away right before I turned 12. Wow. And Wow. I remember after she passed, all I wanted to do was just cook because that's the only way I, I really felt connected to her. And cooking has just really been a big part of who I am and how I share love because I always felt like if you love someone, then you would make them a meal. That's, yes. that's just what I get from food. Mm -hmm. And um, she is the, the real big inspiration behind it. Wow, that's beautiful. And that, I feel so connected to you because I'm the exact same way. Any person that knows me <laughs> knows that I love to feed people. I love to cook. And I I've been up since six, six o'clock this morning. You and told I've been me. Yeah, I've been baking peach cobblers because today is peach cobbler day. I have a home Ooh. cottage, a home bakery. And um, I bake on the weekends. I offer special um, dishes. And so okay. this weekend is peach cobbler, but I, it's more, it's deeper than just baking a dessert. It's a, it's a form of sharing love, like you just said. And to me, when you prepare a meal for a person, there's a feeling that you get when you're standing at the stove and you're preparing it. But the greatest feeling, the greatest mm -hmm. feeling is when you present it, when you plate you it <laughs> and you present it to them, like here's your food. It's like that, that right there is the greatest. <laughs> and, and, and I love the reaction sometimes. I just want to see how they're going to react to it, you know, and my son, my oldest son, he loves food like his mom and dad. He is a foodie. He say, mom, oh, my God, it looks so good. I said, it looks so good. OK, taste it. You know, I want to <laughs> see you taste it now. He, oh, it tastes so good. And then here comes Deidre. Mm, mama, it's so good. Oh, OK, OK, OK. So <laughs> I love that part. I'm with you on that one just to see how they react to it and then how they get to taste it. You know, that mm -hmm. is the seal of, 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 the, of approval right exactly. there. Exactly. You know? Yeah, definitely. Because, you know, children are very honest. They'll tell you, oh, no, mom, this is oh. too this or this is too that. Oh. They they are real honest. They don't hold anything back at all. I'm like, do you have any type of decorum, son? You can't just go around and tell people that you're not going to eat their food. You know, don't do that. So, Dominique, if there is a young lady or a young man uh, that's uh -huh. watching us right now and they have a fire inside of them, they want to go out and, and they want to start a, a social media platform and help people but they're afraid. They're they're hampered by fears and insecurities. What advice would you give them to step out and just do it? Well, if I'm going to be honest with you, the first thing I would ask them is what are you passionate about? Once you find out what your niche is, if you are comfortable in that one area, record that. Start with that. It can be painting, it can be sewing, knitting, whatever that one thing that expresses you fully is recorded. Keep mm -hmm. going. If you only get one or two views, that's okay. You got one or two views. Keep going. Research. Find out what hashtags are. Find out shadow banning. Look up terms that you hear or see online so you can understand them. Once you understand them, learn how to work them. Learn how to work them. Dig for mm -hmm. information and then Beautiful. keep going. Don't Beautiful. stop. Don't stop. Beautiful. 
That's it. Beautiful, Dominique. That those are very, very, very beautiful words. And I love the way you said, find what you're good at, find what makes you thrive, because that's mm -hmm. where your success will lie. Because in, in doing what you love, it brings out more confidence in what you're doing. And that, that is, true. is what helps. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. What really helps people connect to to you is to be you. I can't be someone else. I can't pretend to be you, Toya. I have mm -hmm. to be me in order for a person to be able to want to be a part of our virtual world. What are you doing to help others? Also, it can't just be a one sided relationship. You know, you mm -hmm. have to build relationships with people online. Like all of my followers, just to be honest with you, I follow, I follow everything that they're doing. You know, I want to see what it is in your world because I really just wanted to make friends. <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. really wanted to make friends. I want to mm -hmm. see what you guys are doing because I might be interested in that. Life mm -hmm. is all about balance and growing. Keep mm -hmm. growing. Just keep doing it. Keep and we were it. put on this earth to help each other. And that's definitely mm -hmm. what you're doing, Dominique, with your platform. Thank you. You're helping people and you're teaching us. You know, we're learning to cook from you. We're learning how to balance family life. And all of that is those are essential skills that you can't learn in a university or uh, the local college. It's a skill that you have to possess inside of you. And you definitely have that. I didn't even think of it like that. That is so beautiful. Thank you. I really mm -hmm. did not uh, see that perspective of what I was trying to convey. That is a beautiful statement to make. Thank you so much. Thank yes. You. Welcome to the Nash House is the name of her handle on YouTube. She's on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. She's everywhere. So, <laughs> <laughs> Dominique, uh, what's next for you? You have this beautiful platform. You're helping people. You're inspiring people. You're a mom. You're a wife. You have a fur baby. What's next? I for do. You? <laughs> I really, I, I love my fur baby, by the way, my Tommy Wami. He, he's a lot to handle, but he's mine. Okay. My Aww. mom gave him to me. I, I love that. During the pandemic, she really, I was like, mom, you're going to give me a dog? Oh, but he's my baby. I love it. Uh, the next stage for, for me is really just to continue growing. Um, I really want to start really trying to do cooking classes online. I feel like a lot of people just really don't know what is possible with food, you know, or what you can do and where you can get some good food. A lot of times I just didn't know when I was when I was younger, I didn't know about different grocery stores offer different things. I thought you just go to one grocery store. So sometimes we do grocery store adventures, really just providing the service of being able to know what you are able to accomplish out here in the world. There's a big world. I'm still trying to go see it too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, it, let's just grow together. Also, I'm looking towards getting some aprons with foodie beauty on it. I think it'll be so cute if everybody had a foodie, a foodie beauty apron. I thought that was so amazing. Oh, um, yes. I love that. I love it. Yeah. And, and some, uh, some cookware. You know, I really love my cookware. And if I could get something going with, with a cookware company, oh my God, something that I really want people to have in their homes that I would recommend using because I do Google reviews also. Mm -hmm. I am a store level six. I will tell you about some products if they're worth the money or not, because I'm out here using it so you don't have to. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Dominique, we have a few people tuning in who have left comments. Um, the Spotlight oh. over on YouTube said, I love the Nash House. Thank you, Spotlight, Thank for tuning you. in. And they even Thank helped you. us out. They left your hashtag here for the audience oh. to take a look at. Thank welcome you so much. The, welcome to the Nash house. And then we have Tish Landrum. She's watching. And she said, thank you, ladies, both for your stories. Inspiration. You're so welcome. And truth. Yes. Thank you so much, Tisha. We appreciate you and the spotlight yes. for leaving your comments today. So, Dominique, oh. is, we're going to be wrapping up our interview here. Dominique, is, is there anything else you want to share with us before, I, before you leave? 
Uh, no, you look, can all bring my him kids on. Just, the kids just ran. Come on, come on, come on. The kids all just ran in here, and the dog. You can come on over, say hi if you want. Oh, yes, time. please. I want to oh. see him. Oh, hi, Tommy. He is so cute. <laughs> hi, baby. Okay. Um, really, I'm just looking forward to continue to grow. Also, if you are still on Facebook, check out Facebook Reels. It is so cool to be able to create videos directly on Facebook, something that we all started with. I know I really started with MySpace though when I started my mm -hmm. little online journey and then Facebook came around, but you only could get in if you were in a college and I had graduated by that time. And then they made it open for everybody, you know? So mm -hmm. Facebook is like the generation X for us. And if you can make the same videos on TikTok, you can make the same ones on Reels. Let's use all of them. You know what yes. I mean? Yes. <laughs> okay, so is that what I need to do? Because I know I will sometimes post a video on Facebook mm -hmm. and, and then I only get like one or two views. So I guess mm -hmm. I should post it as a Reel. And that'll yes. Okay. Yes. And when you use the Reels, make sure you hashtag different things like Reels. Uh, reels on Reel videos reels on instagram instagram and facebook are still two separate entities but those hashtags still cross reference so people can find your content sometimes i don't even share the video i just use the hashtags just to see how far a post will go and i'll get like a thousand views because a lot of people are searching through hashtags now Oh wow! Well, I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna try that to get more exposure. That would be beautiful. Well, Dominique, I know you have to. I know you have to get back to your family. But before I let you go, I have to ask you the million dollar question that I ask all of my guests who sit before me. As you know, uh -huh. I created this podcast in honor of my father uh, who took his own life in a murder suicide. And my father was at one point in his life, a radio show host, and okay. he hosted a radio show called Speaking of Sports. And when he passed away, I wanted to do something to honor him. And I thought, hmm, I'll start a podcast, but I don't know anything about sports. So my show is called Speaking of Love in oh. honor of my father, someone that I love with my whole heart. So my well, million beautiful. dollar question that I ask all of the guests who sit before me is how do you define love? I define love through food. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I love it. <laughs> Wow. As soon as you I pause, but as soon as you said it, it was like food. Yes, food. yes. You know, you are my 88th episode. So that means I've awesome. interviewed I've interviewed 87 other people. And every person has their own definition of love. There's no right or wrong answer. But what you just said, it resonates with me. Because that is exactly that's beautiful. When I do, yes. I know, that's right. Well, thank yes. you so much for having me be a part of your show. I re I'm really glad to get to know you also. Um, thank you for this platform. I'm glad I'm number 88. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you, Dominique. <laughs> this has been a pleasure. I appreciate having you here. And I bow to your excellence. I'm bowing oh, to your excellence. I bow to yours too, girl. Go on now. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here this week. And if any person has, if you've missed any portion of this recording, this recording will live live on YouTube. Uh, Facebook. It's available on all major podcast platforms, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud, anywhere. Yes, yes, Just type yes. in the search bar, Speaking of Love. Again, we were here today with Dominique Nash, and her handle is Welcome to the Nash House, and that's the number two. Thank you all so much for being here, and I'll be back next week with another beautiful episode. I love you all. Thank you.